Okay, so in this video, I'm checking out the big te oh, well, it's a telephoto lens, the 75 to 300 millimeter lens for the Canon camera. As you can see, whenever you zoom in to 300 millimeters, it extends quite a bit. So that is pretty huge amount of distance you've got there. It's also an f4 to f5.6. So it's not exactly the brightest lens. It's certainly something you might want to use in a sunny place, maybe on safari or something like that, but not in a dark, miserable place like Scotland. It's, this is the Mark III version, which has USM, which is ultrasonic motor, which means it should have fast focusing. And as you can see, whenever you focus, the barrel extends even further. So if I zoom out to 300 and I focus, it goes out a little bit and it comes back in. Now if you ask me, that doesn't seem like a very fast focus whatsoever. That seems slow as it is quiet, which is good. So ultrasonic, yeah, quiet, but it's not fast. Seems pretty darn slow to me. Anyway, here are some images that I've taken with this uh, lens on the full frame Canon 5D camera, just so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the first shot. Uh, this was taken at 70, uh, 300 millimeters. And if you look really carefully, you can see a huge amount of chromatic aberration, a real purple fringe around everything. Uh, this is it at f5.6, so this is like the widest and brightest it can be. Um, and it just doesn't look very good at all. Let's see if we go to the next picture. This was taken at f11, and there's still a serious amount of chromatic aberration going on there. Nothing really looking sharp either. And this is a 180th of a second. So let's see when we make it a little bit faster. This is a 350th of a second at f11. And just huge purple lines going on in the image. Uh, let's see, here's a little man down here. Doesn't look too bad on this side. Go over to the other side. Massive, massive problems on that. So, and, and green on this side and purple on that side. It just doesn't look good at all. And the last one, oh, this is it back to f5.6 at 300 millimeters, and it is certainly an image I would not want to. In fact, look at that, that whole post is just purple. That's just no, there's purple and green all together there. It's just, it's just going mental. If we go to uh, 75 millimeters, so you can see a lot kind of more area as well. Let's zoom back in on this. And again, just not looking very sharp and definitely still purple fringes all around it. Uh, not really that impressed there. Okay, it's a great reach that you've got, but it's giving you pretty rubbish images. And then here it is again. This is at 70 millimeters, but at F8. And that looks a lot better. I'm not seeing any purple or any green fringing going on there. Okay, so here I'm filming at 70 millimeters and at f4. And let's see if we can focus just on this car here. Okay, not the quickest, but then let's see what it's like if we try and focus on the building in the background. Okay, so it takes quite a while, certainly hunts around to actually get the image. Now if we zoom in, we can see that, yeah, it's pretty good focus. Let's see if we can focus it any better. So yeah, that takes a long time to actually focus. That USM doesn't really make it any fast at focusing. Um, also at 300 millimeters, you can definitely see that there's a lot of vibration coming through my hand as I'm just hand holding it in the car. So what you really want is a vibration reduction. That would really help at the 300 millimeter range. Okay, so that is, oh, let's put it at 300 and then that's it focused on the building. Let's get it focused nice and close, say the wheel of this car. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And look how nice the shallow depth of field is, how the background is all really nice and mushy there. Let's focus on the wing mirror. Okay, and then straight onto the building. 
certainly takes a while for it to focus. Um, but yeah, so that is the Canon 70-300mm USM Mark III.